Hi there. In this quick video, I'm going to tell you what to check first when your stereo speakers or dual mono speakers or multiple speakers in, in a single box uh, are not outputting uh, as much bass and as nice feeling sound as you expect them to. Okay, so to start I built this myself. I will link uh, the videos in the description to part video. In theory, I was hoping for them to have plenty of bass. When I finished them, uh, they were quite lack lacking in bass, but I said, mm, beer kegs, maybe metal, not really a good uh, box for some speakers, so probably that's why and I left it like that. So let me play to you the original sound and next I will play the sound after the tiniest of modifications ever. Okay, first of all, excuse the construction site around, house still not finished. Uh, so you heard the difference before and after. After it's much, much better, much more full of bass. Initially I could see the speaker membrane moving a lot, but it was just not producing enough sound. It was weird, but I put it all on the boxes initially. And then I said, hmm, why not reverse? the wires and as you can see plus is in the negative terminal minus is in the positive terminal but when i built this myself i knew all about uh, phase in speakers and they need to be in phase to not cancel uh, uh, each other especially in the lower frequencies and something still went wrong and they ended up being out of phase i will open them up Either I messed up in the wiring or the um, instructions uh, have something wrong in them for the module uh, that I'm using. But I will open up, uh, them up in this video next. Now the idea is to make sure that you can test if something like this is the problem. Simply reverse the wires in yours. And uh, that should be about it. If they sound much fuller and with more bass, yep, you had the wrong uh, polarity phase because it's not a direct current, it's a, a kind of AC with a certain frequency depending on what you are playing. Uh, but yeah, many people don't know about this thing and they have two speakers, hey, wires, okay, let's connect them, whatever uh, goes where, who cares. Yes, it actually does matter. So uh, yeah, next for whoever wants to see what is actually wrong with the wiring in these things, I will open them up and uh, investigate. I could just leave this uh, connected the wrong way, but I don't uh, work like that. So I will fix the issue. So uh, continue with that. But the idea is you have to have the correct polarity. So if your speakers are not sounding as you would expect from the travel of the membrane, from the size of the speaker and stuff like that, you might have them out of phase. Now open this up. Okay, the unpowered speaker is opened up. Now let's see, this is our positive right here and test it with our positive on the back of it. Yep, inside of this uh, speaker we have the core uh, actually no because this has a coil in it so it could buzz even if it's uh, through the coil so let's also check the reading so it's buzzing 0 0.10 and let's go to the other one it should be 8 ohms maybe it will read a 6 or a 7 let's see 
Yep, it's a six. So buzzing is not enough in this case because it is a coil inside the speakers and uh, there is continuity. But this is six. So this is the other end of the speaker. This is the direct uh, direct path of the wire. So we have correct. Red is red also here and it's marked as a plus. So yep, we can close this one back up. Uh, it wasn't the easy fix this time. Let's put it back uh, together and open up the other one with much more wires in it. And for whoever is coming from, from the other video to this one, and you are wondering how well the speakers uh, could seal against this, well, I would say quite well. Something else that I want to point out, if you gently tap on your speakers, and they sound bassy, uh, and when you play them, they are not. We are still talking about a minimum of two drivers, two speakers, not the box, two speakers, drivers, bass, bass uh, drivers uh, themselves. If you have at least two of them, and when you tap them, they both sound uh, deep, but when you play them, they are not at all, and your settings in your amp and everything else is fine, you should be thinking that somehow they are cancelling uh, each other. As you can see, second speaker opened up. Uh, they came the kit itself, which again is in uh, the video in the description, the assembly of it and more info, uh, came with black wires. So I basically marked my own positive uh, on it before soldering, just for future reference. Now, uh, two wires coming to this and two wires going to the back output connection that is going to the second speaker. Now what I need to ch check, unplug this, luckily it's quite uh, at hand in here. And I will take a look on the, um, on the paper, the original paper, I don't have it, but I have it uh, on the phone, I don't have the printed paper anymore to see if what I connected here, at least for this speaker, is correct and then check these two wires by putting my multimeter here and on the back of this speaker to see if it's correct. Hopefully I did something wrong. If not, the kit uh, itself is not wired in the same way as the instructions tell us to connect it. So either way you will, we will find out something uh, important. This is the kit itself from Parts Express. I will link it in the description. Thanks again Parts Express for sending this uh, parts in for my project. And now let's get to manuals. Quick start wiring guide. Let us see. So we are here. This is the front clip. Uh, you cannot plug in this uh, particular connector backwards because as you can see the holes have a specific shape, all of them. So this is the front clip for sure. Front wire should be negative, back wire should be positive. Let me double check, I'm looking at it now on the bench. And I connected them exactly the other way around. Boo hoo! Hmm. No, what? what? Wait a second, front wire? Did I say negative? No, it's okay. Damn it. Sorry, I hmm. messed myself up by myself. So, front wire, yep, it's negative. A rear wire, it's positive. I'm going to show you in a second. Again, this one, front, should be a negative, because this is the clip. We are looking at the connector like this. So, this should be a negative, and let's follow the wire so we don't miss anything. It's going right there and it's a negative. And the other one, the positive, as you can see, it's this one right here. And it goes uh, to the second pin right there, this actually, and it should be a positive. So this particular speaker is wired correctly. Let me check the outputs on the back now. I will put the phone in its place.
before checking as you can see for the other speaker the front one is positive and the back one is negative which is different from this side so either i got confused or these uh, are actually wrong some of them not really sure which but uh, yeah let's see so we are searching for positive in the front now okay let's check so I'm going to the front pin. This is front because we have this, but we are looking from top as in the instructions. So front pin is this one. And I'm connected. Let's see if I get the positive on the back or not. Come on, where are you? And I get it. If I go to negative, I will not get anything positive so basically the instructions are wrong um, okay and i'm playing through the bluetooth so it's not like uh, the the uh, line in jack or something like that is wired wrong although that comes uh, uh, pre-wired uh, as far as i remember so uh, there's nothing i could do wrong to that one but anyway so again i'm at the front where this should be positive and i'm getting positive on the positive one so i wired it correctly it seems the instructions are wrong but that's a bit weird but not impossible so yeah i will try to to contact uh, parts express and see um, maybe they contact uh, uh, Dayton Audio uh, further down the chain and uh, yeah, maybe help some, some people basically at the end of the day see if this is wrong they, they can make it right in the instructions for me so I don't wait uh, for the answer and open them again who knows when um, I will simply switch the cables already did that so what uh, in theory the instructions tell us it's uh, positive what goes to the negative now and the negative one actually goes to the positive doesn't matter if these were switched or the other two as long as i switched this the speakers are now in phase and all is good the purist will say yes but it actually does matter um which way is which for both speakers in phase but doesn't matter which is which uh, yeah, I'm not nowhere near at uh, that uh, level of audiophile to have an importance. What is important for me is that they are in phase and don't work one against the other. So uh, let's put, if you want to see excursion test, I have it uh, linked also in the description. Quite nice. Let's put uh, this back. Now they should be in phase if I uh, connect everything the normally way you would connect to the output of this one red to red and uh, also input of this one red to red everything should work absolutely normally and in phase but for you clearly i will give you the response from uh, parts express and sequentially if that's the correct term from data audio and again this is a keyed connector it's not like i can uh, plug it in any other way so it goes in the way it was meant to go in. Let's close this back up. We're in phase. <laughs> I can already hear more bass. We are in phase. But let's move about uh, to the same area where we were before. So it's quite clear and I will just show you how much the speakers were moving also before because the movement was the same 
but basically there was kind of no bass whatsoever. solve this hopefully next we will uh, have the reply from uh, parts express uh, slash diton audio <laughs> 